40 grand a day. Yep, it is perfectly normal prison architect gameplay. I don't know what you're all complaining about in the comments section. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the wonderful game that is Prison Architect, where today we're going to take the concept of Prison Architect, put it on some rails, and then drive it completely off the rails and just do our own thing. Today, I think we're going to do something that quite simply has actually never, ever been done in the history of Prison Architect, and it all begins quite simply with a nice little room called Exports. Now, now in today's operation we're not going to play prison architect like we normally play it. Instead of building a prison and housing it with inmates, we're going to make money like no other prison before us. Now you can make money from prisoners, for example Minset give you 300, Medium Set give you 500 and Maximum Security prisoners will give you a grand each. That is actually not bad at all, however we want none of that. That's absolutely trash. Our intake is closed because prisoners they come with a whole host of issues. Prisoners need food, prisoners need entertainment, they need freedom, they need to be safe, they need to be secure, they need guards, and guards cost money, food costs money, chefs cost money, everything costs money. So that's why we're not going for prisoners. However, what we're going to do instead is build some offices. One, two, and that's all we're going to need. So our lovely little workman can set about building these wonderful offices, and you're going to start seeing our wonderful plan come into fruition. There we have it, two offices, and one is for, of course, our lovely little warden. So what we want the warden to do. Immediately we want him to do maintenance and then probably after that we could get him to do finance. Yeah we might as well whilst we've got him around. I'm going to start by ordering our workmen to dismantle some of these trees and trust me it's going to start making sense soon. Trees are walking money. Each tree comes with three logs, and each log is $50, meaning each tree is worth $150. $150 is basically the wage of three gardeners per day, and three gardeners in one day can place roughly about 20 trees. Workmen, however, cost $100 a day each, but we can still buy an absolute ton of them. So our aim is going to be to export logs, plant trees, and make loads of money. See, here's our first little export truck. We load it up with some logs, and then it drives off the bottom of the map. Farewell, truck. And boom, that's a grand. That's how Mafia works, ladies and gentlemen. But Spiff, I hear you say, how are we meant to make money quick? Because that's what Prison Architect is all about. Quick, fast money. And don't worry, I've got the solution for you. Now, forestry isn't as easy as it looks. It's all about a careful balance of efficiency and maximization of profits. Ooh, and I think we just finished our research. So, now we just need a maintenance guy and research groundskeeping. Maintenance bloke, away you go. And whilst we're doing that, we can make sure to buy some paving stones. And there we have it, the research has been complete, and so we can begin our preparations for the ultimate money-making machine. We're going to need a lot of gardeners, probably nine to begin with, but most importantly, we're going to need a lot of workmen. Trust me, you can never have too many workmen with this strategy. We've got 11 workmen, and this exceeds our daily budget, so we can't buy any more workmen, but don't worry, we can begin placing down of the ultimate room, forestry. And to begin with, we'll just place our forestry here, but also because there's trees existing here already, we also want to make sure we designate this area forestry. And so it begins. The workmen will start cutting down the trees and the foresters will start planting the trees. And now the money starts getting spent. Lots and lots of seeds have just been purchased and the gardeners are grabbing them and beginning the arduous planting process. Meanwhile, the workmen are absolutely hammering away at these trees, making sure they can get them all cut down and then ferrying the logs off to the exports area. Now, can it get any more chaotic? Yes, yes it can. Because guess what? We're gonna need more forestry area. In this entire area, it's about to become forestry. The more forestry, the better. Trust me on this one. So we're gonna make this all forestry and this all forestry too. To make it a little bit easier to access, we're going to make sure to whack down some concrete. Oh, wait, we can't. Yes, that's right, we're out of money because our entire budget has just been spent on seeds. But don't worry, we should make it back soon enough. As you can see, the logs are starting to arrive. So we just start loading all the logs onto this truck and then the driver will drive off. And as you can see, minus $178 is about to become positive 850. And then of course we spend six grand on trees. Yep, yeah, God bless this game. So these trucks are gonna leave and as you can see, the money ticks on in. And suddenly we're starting to have a very positive day Daily cash flow. The trees are slowly beginning to grow. Ah, there you go, there goes another. Trees, they're just basically free money. They're absolutely wonderful. Another truck goes, loaded up with logs, and in comes the next truck to be loaded up with logs, I imagine. Lovely, simple, 
and most importantly, ridiculously profitable. Here comes the truck, and of course we load it up, and away it goes. My goodness, isn't making money just so easy? But the fun doesn't end there, because we need to make sure we maximize our income, so that means all of this area also needs to become forestry, as well as probably all of this area too. Now why are trees better than prisoners? Well, as you can see, we're making about $770 a day. You're probably not going to make that much money when you start out your prison, because at the start of certainly making a prison, prisoners are ridiculously difficult to maintain. You need to build kitchens, shower facilities, yards, maintenance, you need to make sure you have janitors, you need to make sure you have cleaning facilities. It's absolutely crazy how much money you have to spend. However, at the moment, we're not really spending any money. We're just buying seeds and planting them, and then they grow into more money. It's honestly wonderful. Now, we're going to also want to expand the tree farm even more, so that's what we're going to do over here. You might also be wondering, what are we going to do with our warden? Well, the answer is we don't need anything to do with our warden now, so he's fired. Sorry, warden, but you just cost two hundred dollars a day. You're not worth it. It's not like we need a warden for prisoners around here. I don't really think the trees are going to start an escape attempt. Maybe they are. Right, I'm watching you, tree. And that field just bought all of its seeds. About 20 grand's worth. It's gonna take a while to fill this map with seeds, I can tell you that much. The first trees are starting to be finished. They're popping up into perfectly ripe trees to be harvested. So the workmen cut them down, bring back all the logs to the export area, and then a truck is summoned to take them all away. Ah, the cycle of life and the cycle of profits. Isn't it beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? My goodness, there's no better feeling in this game than watching a tree grow up into an absolute girthy long boy of just pure money and income. It is a glorious thing to behold, and then just watch it get loaded up onto a truck and drive off into the distance. Absolutely majestic. Absolutely majestic. Look at this. Four logs. $200. We can just sell it. Bam. That's $200. Ladies and gentlemen, if only we could make tea plantations in this game. You know what? That's what I want. Paradox Interactive, you just bought this game. Add tea plantations, please. Now, of course, we don't get as many export trucks as I like. We get one as soon as it falls off the edge. However, I found a way to increase it. You see, at the moment, objects need to be brought into the prison, especially when we buy them. So if I were to buy a sprinkler, a truck will arrive to pick up all the logs. However, sadly, as I'm in the red, I can't do such a thing. But as soon as we come out of excruciating debt, I'll make sure the first thing we buy is a sprinkler. Although, to be fair, there's an easier way to escape debt, and that's Grant. After all, the government is still under the impression that we're about to set up a prison. So we're going to get the Grant for a basic detention center and inmate health and well-being. And I can tell you, I plan on doing absolutely none of that. So let's summon a sprinkler, and this should bring around another truck to deliver. Guess what? Yeah, we just spent another 10 grand on trees. Trees. But there we go. Here's the sprinkler we ordered, and in return we fill up the truck with trees. And so we're going to order another sprinkler, and hopefully we'll have another sprinkler truck arrive. Here it comes, and as it's waiting there, we get to load it up with a ton of logs. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how profit happens. But of course, you might notice we're facing a bit of a bottleneck at the moment. We have a lot of trees, we have a lot of wood lying around, however, it's just not making its way to exports. And why is that? Well, we don't have enough workmen. Eleven, it's just not enough. We're going to need more. We're now up to twenty-three. We've more than doubled the workforce. Now you're going to start witnessing a lot more logs in the export pile. So I'm going to summon yet another sprinkler to be delivered. And with this increased tree cutting speed, we've managed to deforest most of this area. You know, I think I'm happy setting down the next load of concrete tiles down this pathway so that we can quickly access all of these trees. And of course, the more we build, the more trucks arrive to haul our logs away and give us more money. Watch this one go. Bam and bam. That's two grand, ladies and gentlemen. Easy money just from the trees. Although we are now starting to collect sprinklers. Yeah. Not sure what we're gonna do with all of those, but hey, we've got a wonderful forestry empire now. And then let's get another sprinkler in. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have really streamlined the export process. You see, if you don't do this, it actually takes quite a long time for the export truck to keep on coming back round, and it's really not that efficient. We're on day four. Now, normally by day four of Prison Architect, you've got everything set up. You've got maybe... <sighs> I'm gonna say 20 to 30 inmates, you're probably not making about 40 grand a day. Yeah, you're probably not, ladies and gentlemen. So, really, why aren't you? You could be here like me, making tons of money off of forestry, but instead, you're not. Just saying, next time we're playing Prison Architect, uh, yeah, the trees, it's free real estate, guys. If you don't have paths, it's gonna take ages for the logs to get over to the trucks. It's that kind of delay which is really gonna set back your empire. Let's get some sprinklers in, as the exports is starting to pile up. Oh, spring Sprinklers, please come to me. You're absolutely wonderful, majestic burgers. Oh, this is just perfect. We're gonna load up so many trucks with sprinklers. Endless sprinkler trucks. I've no idea why this can even be considered a gameplay feature. The sprinkle buying meta 
to just get as many delivery trucks in as humanly possible. I feel like the way I play the game might not be the normal way of playing the game, but maybe it should be. Some could even call this the enlightened experience of Prison Architect. Maybe going above and beyond gameplay expectations. Is this game of the year 2019? And people haven't even realised it because it was released in 2018, so it makes no sense to make this game of the year 2019. Well, I think this could actually be. Maybe what the world was really looking for was not a prison building game, but in fact a forestry tycoon simulator. Also, technically something we can do to speed up the process, we have a sell object cursor, which allows us to just hover over objects and sell them. So if we don't even wait for them to pile up in the export section, we can just go around, hover over all the wood, and just hit sell object. Alright, so something I'm trying to do at the moment is split up the forestry section so that hopefully we can prioritise speed going through the forestry area, because certainly when I made my first attempt of this, speed was a major issue. God, look at that. $35,000 a day. Can you say you've got a prison to do that on day five? I don't think you can. And we'll just watch the money roll on in. 40 grand a day. Yep, this is perfectly normal prison architect gameplay. I don't know what you're all complaining about in the comments section. You know what, I'm gonna jump into this segment of the video when you were least expecting me to remind you to like the video if you've enjoyed it and also comment something jazzy like the cup of tea you're drinking at the moment in the comment section. If you're not drinking a cup of tea and you're in the comment section, then uh, what are you doing here? I know it's probably you again, Dave, but look, I've given you many opportunities to just go and get a cup of tea and you don't do it. You just don't do it, Dave. Oh, I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Anyway, I'd also like some help for an upcoming video and I'm sure that you guys in the comments section will be able to help me. What I'm looking for is to make a Skyrim video where I basically use only mods that are recommended to me. And sadly, I can't really take every single mod that's recommended to me. So probably about the top 40 comments which are recommended to me as Skyrim mods, I will take. So, how can you recommend a mod? Rather simple. Just give me the name of a Skyrim mod which can be found on the Steam Workshop and a little description as to what it does slash why you think it would probably be good in the game. If you don't have a mod to recommend or would like to have a go at shaping what's going to appear, then make sure to go down to the comment section and upvote some comments that you'd love to see added to the Skyrim video. Anyway, back to the profiteering. Now we are spending money on seeds and really we do need it. I'm going to make sure we sell all of this wood here. How much are we going to make? Oh, come on, give me something good. <sighs> Oh my goodness, 18 grand. Can we make it even more? Can we make it even more, ladies and gentlemen? 26,000, ladies and gentlemen. 26,000. <laughs> This is how Prison Architect was meant to be played. I wondered if this was the way it was meant to be played, but yes, yes, this has to be it. To be fair, we could do with a bit of an expansion, so I'm gonna build another office here, and hopefully we can set about hiring an accountant to get down our corporation tax. Actually, it's gonna allow us to look at our finances, and trust me, they're going to be interesting. So, let's hire the accountant, and we're gonna need the warden back, sadly. Accountant, you're going to learn about land expansion and then tax relief. Oh, looks like we filled up the exports again, so we're going to need to sell all of this. Another absolute ton of money. My goodness, we really are never going to run out of funds, are we? Also, if you have any other fun ideas for how to take a game in a completely stupid direction, then make sure to tell me, because I certainly wouldn't mind giving it an attempt, considering how fun I found this entire experience. And here we have it, an entire field slowly growing into perfect trees to be harvested for money. And behind it, we have yet another field getting planted, more fields getting planted. Oh, it is a glorious sight to behold. We certainly do have a bloody large amount of workmen, and they are doing their job with absolute precision precision and speed. Isn't it glorious? If you're wondering, can you do a forestry business and also set up a prison? I'm gonna say yes, you could if you really wanted to. There's nothing holding you back. And in fact, you'd probably also do quite well. So why not do what I've attempted today by building your forestry business first, and then maybe afterwards you can set about building up a prison once you've built this ridiculous forestry enterprise. Most importantly, we've finished the extra land research. So to expand in this direction, it's gonna cost us 45 grand. But trust me, I'd much rather expand in that direction than this direction direction because I want to be close to the road rather than all the way over here. So let's quickly sell some objects lying over here and then hopefully we should be able to buy the extra land. There we have it, 45 grand. Would I like to buy this plot of land? Oh yes I would. Wabam! And so now all of this is ours. And what can we do with it? Well, of course, we can just plant more forestry areas. <laughs> that's, that's all we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. It's honestly amazing just watching little gardeners run back and forth. I'm actually going to say I enjoy this, even though it's not how the game was meant to be played. Even beyond a joke, there's something actually really quite adorable about watching your little minions run about and watching the money flow in and really building up a business. I enjoy this. <laughs> 
Is, does that mean there's something wrong with me? Potentially. But, you know, at the end of the day, what's fun is fun. But also, now that we've got an accountant, we can take a look at finance. And we can see that roughly from exports, we make almost 50 grand a day. Not bad at all. However, what's really holding us back is not staff wages, because guess what? They're only about a grand a day. It's corporation taxes. That's right. Because yes, 30% of it is stripped away by the evil government trying to fund education for children. Ugh, horrible. Why can't it just fund our wonderful tree enterprise? So naturally, we're researching tax relief to basically try and work out how we pay as little tax as possible. After all, the less tax we pay, the more trees we plant. And I mean, trees are good. We're saving the environment, right? I mean, we're building them and cutting them down the next day, but that's saving the environment. Also, if we turn on objects, we can see all of the trees that need to be cut. And actually, yeah, we're going to take up to 100 workmen. Go on, away you go, guys. You've got stuff to do. Find a place in the prison. Find a tree to cut. We've just bought 30 workmen. Good lord. <laughs> just look at them run around, <laughs> scurrying around like ants. This is what I've designed, basically. To stop me from having to move my finger around a lot, I just go over here, hold down, and then go up and down here. Much more precise and a much easier way of selling all the wood. There we go. That basically has told me that every time we fill up, these areas, we get about 30 grand. Not bad at all. All right, I think it's time we also sell some objects to make some money. So, gonna roll all the way up here. Scroll all the way down. Hello, 25 grand. Very nice. Well, hiring all those workmen, that was a good investment. They have just cleaned all of this up. We might as well finish off all of our fields. So, this is field 35, field 36. Oh, that's field 37. This is field 38, field 39, and field number 40, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it. 40 massive forestry fields, all that are basically just walking money. And you can just see the workmen jumping on all of these new crops that we've got in installed. Oh my goodness. If one of you guys out there could create a mod that turns these trees into tea plantations, then I am all up for it. I would absolutely love to turn a prison into a tea plantation. <laughs> Our tax rate is down to just 15%, but can we get it down to an offshore tax haven? <gasps> Our corporate tax will drop to around 1%. <gasps> Let's get an offshore tax haven, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, the government is still believing that we are a prison, even though we have taken zero inmates. They're still giving us $2,000 a day to run a prison. As you can see, the prison's going great. <laughs> Oh, look at all those lovely little saplings getting planted. I think our prison roughly spends about 10 grand on new trees a day. But given we're selling about 60 grand's worth of tree a day, I'd say generally we're doing very good when it comes to business. Eat your heart out, introversion software. This is what you should have made. Four grand on tree. Yes. Imagine doing your tax returns at the end of the year. It's just, yes, there appears to be an expense here. One million on tree. Just how much was this tree? You want to know the best thing? There's hardly any slowdown. This is running a glorious smooth 60 FPS. No issues whatsoever. 100 prisoners running around on screen? Hmm, might get a bit of slowdown. But 150 workmen legging it around, chopping down trees? Nope, this game can handle it fine. There we have it. I've got 74k lying around, which means... I can buy the next area. We're about to expand up north, ladies and gents. 67 grand. Oh, let's go. Mmm, think of all the tree potential. Naturally, we're going to need to get our concrete tiles down. And here we have it, more forestry areas going in by the day. I get the feeling we're going to need a few more gardeners, to be honest. We basically doubled the size of the operation by purchasing this piece of land. How much is our prison worth? Valuation 430,000. Not bad at all. We don't get any penalties for deaths or escapes because uh, it's not possible. I think it's probably time we help selling all of this. There we go, up we go, and a down we go. There we go, that's 100k in the bank, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Quite happy, a very easy, humble 100k. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a few more workmen. Oh my goodness, and we could already buy the upgrade and expand off in this direction even more. This game knows me so well. <laughs> At the endless expansion, it's just, oh, it's glorious, it really is. I mean, is there even a point calling it a prison anymore? This has gone really far from being a prison. Finance, yesterday we exported 76 grand and paid $600 in taxes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how to be an American. <laughs> I have no idea how we've managed to do that. Are we somehow claiming that we're a charity? Some kind of like eco-friendly environmental charity? Is that what we're going for? Certainly don't feel like we are, considering we cut down probably about 400 trees a day. Anyway, let's expand north. Why not? There's no reason saying not to. Another plot of land has been purchased. I feel like I've taken a concept which was pretty simple and driven it to an extreme and then gone beyond that extreme, quite a bit beyond that extreme. Like, taken the extreme, lobbed it out the window, and then 
then changed the entire definition of extreme to turning prison architect into a forestry game. That's how extreme we've gone. I get the feeling like we've turned this prison into a goddamn nightmare. We really have. It's something else. This is unprecedented prison architect 2 in the making right now. I guess we expand out this way. It's 90 grand. We've just made this place a hell of a lot bigger. Right, let's buy some concrete tiles. I think this is it in its final form. This is as big as I am willing to take the prison. And I think it is glorious. It is perfect. We just have so much wood lying around. For example, this is our lovely little stockpile. Let's go up and down it a few times. That was a very easy 100k. Don't mind me. It's just so easy to make money. It, I can't tell if it's beautiful or ugly or just downright a product of insanity but whatever it is we've done it i'm happy i've reached my conclusion i've spent 14 days in this prison and turned it from something which couldn't make anything to something which exports over a hundred thousand in wood each day sometimes even two hundred thousand it is beautiful it is monstrous but it's ours if you want more prison architect content i'm gonna put it to a vote now because i'd really love to know how much you guys like prison architect so if you enjoy prison architect and you want to see more simply comment the word yay if you don't want prison architect and you'd like to see something else simply comment the word nay Anyway, I've been the Spiffing Brit, this is my monstrous prison, and I hope to see all of you in the next one. Also, a special thank you to all of my majestic patrons. They are absolutely glorious and they have bankrolled this entire video. Without them, all of these crazy, stupid, jazzy things honestly would not be possible. So thank you very much to each and every one of you. And if you're wondering what video you should watch next, then I would strongly recommend this one on screen here. It's been handpicked by me to go alongside this one, so trust me, you should enjoy it. Anyway, I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.